Okay, welcome to the Bookmap Platform Details webinar. This is Bruce at Bookmap. Risk disclaimer, trading equities and futures involves substantial risk of loss and is not suitable for all investors. Past performance is not necessarily indicative of future results. For more information, go to bookmap.com. Uh, there is a free 14-day trial. It comes with education, and uh, that would be the uh, Bookmap educational course, uh, the uh, advanced order flow webinars, uh, those start in about uh, 25 minutes uh, directly after this one, uh, and then other educational resources as well. Okay, so that's what you get as a bundle uh, with the 14-day free trial. Uh, you will need to to sign up, uh, and then um, and then you'll have access to all of that. Okay, uh, any questions? You can reach us at support at bookmap.com, and uh, uh, let's take a look at bookmap.com here and just go through the website quickly. Okay, we just click on Explore up here. It drops us down into the intro video here uh, of Bookmap. You can just watch this. It's uh, about a minute long. Uh, it just goes through um, some of the uh, features and components in Bookmap. Uh, then there's the About uh, section here, and just uh, some of the benefits, the features, etc. cetera. Uh, you can click on the link to try uh, right now. The uh, some testimonials. Uh, there's Bookmap for U.S. equities using Nasdaq Total View. Okay, so you have futures and equities. Uh, and um, soon, uh, in the beginning of uh, 2018, we will have cryptocurrencies as well. Okay, so uh, the platform continues to uh, uh, get more and more uh, uh, diverse and interesting uh, as we as we continue to develop here. Um, all right, so uh, you will need a um, data provider, okay? We are a software platform, okay? Just like a NinjaTrader or uh, a TT uh, XTrader Pro or Interactive Brokers. Now, we connect to the API of these three different platforms as well. However, we are a platform just like them. So uh, you can connect directly to your data provider using CQG, Rhythmic, Gain Capital, IQ Feed, Transact, and then um, and then the uh, Dev Experts here for Nasdaq. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Now, if you need a free trial uh, of the uh, data, a data feed, then you can click right here. Just scroll down a little bit into the pricing area or free trial area. Okay. So. Uh, here is the uh, the pricing and the details on the 14-day uh, free trial of Bookmap Basic or Advanced. Now, there's really only one version of Bookmap. It's Bookmap Basic. Okay, it's 49 per month and it's billed quarterly. You get the 14-day free trial. Um, but there's also the um, advanced uh, version, and the difference uh, between the two are these uh, these add-ons here. Okay, more functionality. So, for example, being able to click uh, the one-click trading right from the uh, Bookmap chart. Okay, large lot tracker, looking for um, larger players, identifying them in the order flow, uh, book and balance and volume and balance, okay, iceberg detector, being able to detect uh, larger players using iceberg or hidden orders, and a correlation tracker. Okay, now if you're a quant and you have very specific needs, most of them do, uh, connecting your own data or proprietary indicators, you can click here and learn more and ask us questions. If you want a full, uh, uh, comparison chart, you can click here. Uh, this will take you to a, um, uh, well, let's just go there. <clears throat> a, uh, a chart here, and it shows what the, are the differences uh, between these, uh, these features here, okay? And uh, you scroll down to the bottom and you'll see more of the uh, difference here. All right, social media, you can follow us here on uh, Twitter, uh, at uh, bookmap underscore pro. Uh, and then um, you can uh, also, uh, that's for the most kind of updated information about what's uh, going on in Bookmap. Uh, and then the, um, uh, there's our U YouTube page here that you can subscribe to. Uh, and uh, any new videos uh, that are uploaded, then you get uh, you can be alerted when those are uploaded. Okay, so I'll just go through quickly the YouTube page. Uh, there's these intro videos that a uh, good place to start. After that, maybe go through some of these uh, features and components, understand what you're looking at in Bookmap, and then finally, these order flow video snippets, we go through uh, two to three minutes uh, of the um, order flow phenomena that uh, Bookmap uh, uncovers uh, with our visualization 
So um, anyway, you might want to watch some of these. This this is the kind of conceptual uh, uh, information that we go over um, in the uh, advanced order flow webinars. Okay, and uh, we we go through them uh, in detail. Okay, these are very concise. Uh, just a couple minutes instead. All right. So let's take a look at Bookmap. All right. So uh, first off, I just want to get a bigger picture view of what's going on here. And there's not a lot going on. Um, oil seems to be moving. So uh, let's uh, let's take a look at oil. All right. We'll we'll go to crude oil and and take a look here. Okay. Or we can look at the Nasdaq if you like. Uh, or we can look at a stock as well. Okay. Here's Tesla for example. And um, uh, some really interesting things in these uh, equities uh, charts. You can see exactly when they started to pile in and provide liquidity at some of these levels at 930. And you can see that how they act like magnets. Price goes right to them. A uh, lot that longer term liquidity stays in the book. Okay. Uh, let's take a look at the crude chart and see what this looks like. Okay. All right. Yeah, we can stick with crude. I think that's fine. Um, so that uh, that seems to be moving pretty well. We're down below the 58 figure here. Now, uh, you know, I know that um, a lot of you uh, are new here to Bookmap. Uh, so uh, that said, um, uh, looking at this chart might might look very foreign to you. Okay, it's actually very simple market data. It, it's simpler than most charts that are out there. Those that have some sort of bar or rotation or aggregation, just like a simple candlestick chart, a five minute candlestick chart, uh, is more complex than what you're looking at here. Uh, that concept of it uh, is more complex. This is a very direct and blunt view of the market um, and um, is very, very transparent. Uh, so, uh, there's basically three things on this chart uh, that are being displayed here. One is the historical best bid and offer. Next is the volume on that historical best bid and offer with these dots. Okay, and then outside of the uh, the traded uh, action, you're looking at here in this heat map, this grayscale, is the um, uh, the historical uh, auction. Okay, where they were bidding and offering. And that's that's it. That's all we're looking at here. All right, so uh, it's actually uh, really transparent information, and I'm actually going to use the candlesticks to, uh, and then we're going to layer on this information, and we're going to show you uh, what it is Bookmap is, is uh, displaying and how uh, it offers levels of transparency that other charts simply do not. Okay, um, so let's look at this five minute candlestick chart. We can see it here, uh, and um, all right, so it's just five minute uh, of five minutes of price action within a bar. Okay, open, high, low, and close. Four data points within five minutes. That's all you're getting here. Right? There's so much more detail. Uh, just uh, there's microstructure that happened in here that is all aggregated within the bar. So you have no clue about some of that microstructure. And uh, let's turn that on. Okay, so uh, we're going to be able to see that by just looking at the historical best bid and offer. Okay, so um, uh, for example, uh, look at these uh, some of these areas in here. There's a nice little pullback here. Okay, um, and um, or uh, you can see some of the buying pressure in the wicks down here. But really, what occurred down here? Okay, we, we can get into some of the details in the microstructure, which is is really uh, um, important right here in this area at 57.65. Okay, we don't really see that in the bar here. The candlestick chart is showing you well. We closed above the uh, the previous uh, open here. Uh, that is that does have a, a bear or a bullish slant to it, uh, and then that seems to be accepting above it. Um, you know, candlestick chart uh, uh, strategy would say like go long here, put your stop down here, uh, and then uh, look for uh, uh, well I don't know what your target might be. Um, uh, maybe the uh, the high of this bar or 58 the figure up here, right? Which isn't it's not a bad strategy. Uh, it's just not as well informed as it could be. Um, there's so much more going on here that is going to give you insight to making a very um, 
um, informed trading decision. Okay, so we'll go through the microstructure in a bit. Uh, but uh, the next level of information here I'm going to turn on is the volume, okay, because that's critical to understand the transactions and where they took place, okay. So um, we can start to see now on that historical best bid and offer these volume dots, and we know exactly where the volume traded, where you don't know in the candlestick chart, okay, and that's the problem. Uh, so for example, this, this area down here, we're, we're seeing a shift in the order flow, all right? And uh, we can see it clearly just with the volume dots, okay? Look at the uh, volume dots on the way down, okay? We see, uh, uh, well, there's, there's buying in here as well. There's no question, but there's more selling than there is buying, especially in this, in this move to the downside, okay? Uh, and um, we can see it. We know exactly where. Uh, let's zoom in just a little bit more, okay? Now, uh, so each uh, vertical dotted line here is five minutes of uh, data uh, between the two. But the volume, uh, we have no clue where that volume took place here uh, on the um, on the candlestick. So, I mean, you might see here in the wick, well, what comprises that wick? Okay, uh, That's going to allow for a lot more insight to what's going on with price. Okay, and we're making financial trading decisions uh, just by kind of guessing at this candlestick wick, okay, and uh, and that is not uh, 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 good for uh, making clear uh, financial decisions. All right, so uh, let's go through it. All right, so the um, uh, we can understand now that uh, the majority of the volume took place at a lower area down here. Okay, so on the move back up, uh, what we're actually seeing, uh, and you can see it here in the volume dots in this little area here. Uh, is you're starting to see um, more, uh, well, less buying activity, okay? So this is a, 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 a low volume pullback uh, from the buy side, you know? So, I mean, you don't see a lot of buying here, okay? And uh, so what do we do? Well, you know, it kind of exhausts out here, okay? And then, and then you see the move uh, back down to lower lows. So we are making lower lows, consecutive lower lows. Okay, that shift in that order flow occurs here, and you can see it very clearly. Okay, we see that uh, we made a lower low, and then uh, and then right in this little area, this little microstructural area right here is broken. Okay, and uh, and then you can see the buyers step in. Okay, and where do they go? Well, here's the high uh, of this little structural area here. Now I'm going to take the candlesticks off. I think they're just uh, getting in the way here. Um, is this swing here that I'm interested in, okay? Because now you can see that we're making um, we're making higher highs, okay? And we're making higher lows now too, right? And we can see that um, uh, there's still, there's aggressive selling down here, but we see the shift in the volume here, right? And uh, very, very clear here. And we're just looking at the traded volume, okay? Uh, and the historical best bid and offer. And that we're already seeing a lot of uh, a lot of insight. All right now, let's zoom into these areas here uh, and uh, understand them a bit a bit better. Okay, now note as I start to zoom in, okay, that uh, uh, we're I'm starting to pull apart the timeline. Okay, I'm I'm uh, getting into deeper and deeper into lower time frames, and um, uh, that starts to pull apart. All of this trading activity that's uh, here, because Bookmap doesn't aggregate any of this data. Okay, so for example, look at this. Uh, this is an aggregation just visually or graphically of this big dot here. About half of it was selling and half of it was buying. But if I zoom into this area, I'm going to split it all apart and I'm going to show you exactly what occurred here. Okay, so what we're looking at now uh, is every single market event that took place. Okay. Bookmap has a complex event processor that can handle all of these data points. So what we're looking at here is the green line is the historical best bid, and the red is the historical best offer. These transactions or these dots that you see here, these are uh, its volume that traded on the uh, on the best offer. Okay. Now we're using the aggressor classification of volume. Okay. A red dot signifies 
a market sell. Someone hit the market sell button. They crossed the spread. They paid up for it by uh, crossing that spread. Uh, and um, uh, they, uh, they took liquidity off of the best offer. Okay, they didn't provide liquidity. So for those reasons, we consider it the aggressor. Okay, and then you can see here these green dots down here, and those are market buys. Okay, it's the opposite. Okay, but um, uh, and you can note though when I start to zoom back out, okay, and we, we're looking at, well, let's zoom in again. We're looking at, uh, you know, we can go down to nanosecond level basically, and I can show you every single transaction that took place here uh, in Bookmap or well, in the market. Um, and um, so finally, uh, we get down into some of these levels here, uh, and uh, now we're now we're down at looking at billions of seconds. So you can see like uh, exactly what has been recorded here. Uh, and um, but as I zoom back out, okay, note that these trades there, and I'm compressing that timeline, and I compress it into uh, it becomes one bigger dot here. Okay, so if I zoom in again, I'm going to split it apart. Okay. And I can use this hover or this data tip tool here, and it can show me exactly what traded here. So this, this was, you can see the date, the time, what was on the ask, and the volume here. Okay, This was for volume of two. This one here is for volume of three. Okay. So uh, that's what occurred here, but as I zoom back out, okay, note how I've compressed it into uh, show a volume of five. Right. So that's... Um, how Bookmap handles this data um, visually or just graphically with an aggregation, okay? But it's it's just just doing it graphically. All the data is still there, and we give you the overall shape of it. If I continue to zoom out and I compress all of these dots together, it becomes one big dot that shows buying and selling. However, the the pie display here is showing me the overall shape and delta of the volume. And it shows that about you know two thirds of this is aggressive buying, and about a third is aggressive selling. Okay, and um, so that's what we're showing here in Bookmap. Okay, very simple uh, and um, uh, uh, transparent data. We're showing everything, uh, really how it all occurred. Okay, and we're, we can see the best bid and offer, the spreads that took place, etc. Uh, now, as I zoom back out, okay. We're, we're still, we're kind of compressing that timeline and it gives me this overall shape here. And I understand now that there, there is a shift in the order flow. Okay, just by looking at the volume, right? And, and here's our swing here that we just went above, okay? So technically uh, in, this, in this view here, we see a, a, a trend reversal, right? And, uh, and we can see it initiated here. Okay, so for example, in the advanced order flow webinars, one of the strategies we look for is a very simple one. Here's where the aggressor took, took charge. Here's a beautiful pullback to where they initiated uh, that, uh, that buying. Okay, and look at the selling down here, very little. Okay, this is a great entry point. All right, uh, anyway, um, now we've, we've looked at the order flow here. Uh, but we've only looked at, um, at just the uh, the volume and the historical best bid and offer. And that's it. Okay. Uh, what about the current market? Okay. What's going on with the current market? Well, to understand that, uh, we can see it here. Okay. And uh, in this window here, we have the best bid and offer right now. And this number is the last traded volume. To the right of that, you see my price ladder. Okay. For crude, every five uh, cents I have it. I can change that to every cent. Doesn't, you know, if you if you like, it's up to you. Um, I I like to uh, to see um, if I zoom in, then you get every cent. All right. Uh, I like to see uh, every five uh, five cents. That's what I prefer. So I'll uh, every five ticks, uh, I'll show a number. All right. It just makes it a little clearer for me. It's up it's up to you. Um, all right. So um, that's what's going on with the current market here. Okay. And um, for us to understand, though, the next uh, level of uh, order flow is we want to understand where they're bidding and offering uh, in this marketplace. And we're, we um, digest that um, or consume that information 
uh, with a dome. Okay, and this is the dome and book map, the COB column, current order book. All right, so here's the price. Okay, best bid and offer right here, as you can see. This is the depth here on the bid, and this is the depth here on the offer. These are traders lined up providing liquidity. All right, they want to be sellers up here at these specific price levels, and they want to be buyers down at these levels. Okay, now these numbers change all the time. When they change, the previous data is now lost. Okay, what was it previously? And uh, that uh, is a problem with looking at a dome. So you can only really narrow in on very specific current data within a dome. Uh, and and um, you would have to remember and write down or just memorize specific areas, what the, what the uh, activity around that area was like, uh, were they adding, were they pulling, uh, what was it like an hour ago, okay? All of these uh, questions cannot be answered by looking at the current market. Okay, but it can if we look at it historically. And that's where Bookmap solves this issue. Okay, we do it with the heat map. All right, so in this window here, which is the current market window, okay, this is a graphical dome. It's showing me uh, the these levels of high liquidity by painting it bright white. Okay, if it's a little bit uh, grayer, it's less liquidity. So it's just a grayscale. But I can understand now where the buyers and sellers are very quickly. You can see them here at 58.80, here at uh, at 75 uh, uh, or 77. I'm sorry, uh, and, and then up here at uh, at 94, okay, and also at 91. Okay, these are areas of higher liquidity. So I can start to gauge and understand that by just looking at this this window here. Where it gets really interesting, though, is we take this data and then we plot it on the chart historically. Okay, and the game really begins at that point because now I can understand this the behavior of this of these traders at this price level. As price is coming down, they got cold feet here at 58.80 or 57.80. Okay, they pulled their liquidity. It got darker, and actually they pulled it and went a tick lower. And then the, even the, those guys pulled as well. So do they have the intent to trade here? We can answer that question, and no, they don't. They're, they're not willing to trade. Uh, they pulled the liquidity. They jump right back in, uh, and then maybe they'll think about it again if price comes back down here. But right now, we, we know that their, their behavior is, uh, uh, or their intent is not to trade here. Okay, a couple of cents lower though, we can see that uh, at the 77 level, they've been in here and they want to trade. 213 contracts, and we, get, we even dipped into the area back here as you can see. Okay, the best bid dipped into it. Uh, no transactions took place, it looks like. Uh, however, uh, they stayed in the book, right? So these guys, just three cents lower, had the intent to trade. Okay, they stayed in the book. They're waiting in line to trade. Okay, now if we got to really uh, answer that question if we come down a little bit lower. All right, and we test these guys, and we'll see. But now we can start to read not only this one price level, what about the areas around it? How are they behaving? Um, are they pulling? Are they adding in front of it? Uh, or are they re, you know, pulling and adding below it? And that gives us, gives us a lot of insight to the possibility of trading in this area here. Okay. All right, a few questions here. Let me get to those before uh, uh, we, uh, we wrap up. Uh, can we replicate the dome? Um, order flow in the dome on a heat map. How can we replicate uh, order flow in the dome on the heat map? Uh, not really sure what you mean, uh, Michael. Um, I mean, uh, it, it's being replicated now. Uh, there's different filters that you will use um, here using the um, uh, this tool over here, automatic contrast configurations. Okay, and uh, you, you can, uh, you know, uh, play around with this to um, uh, highlight specific areas of uh, liquidity and uh, and get rid of some of the noise around it instead. So if you're only interested in really bright areas or uh, if you're interested in all areas, right, you can also do that. So uh, that's uh, that one's up to you. 
um, find uh, find something that kind of works for you uh, and um, gives insight <coughs> that helps your trading strategies. Let's see, uh, Edson. Um, oh, thanks, Edson. Um, and uh, let's see, you're going to increase. Oh, um, I don't know um, about that with uh, with Sato um, and um, what's going on there. Um, I'll have to uh, have to get back to you on that. Okay. This is for uh, uh, Brazil uh, market. Uh, and, uh, I, yeah, I'm not really sure some of the details that you're asking about there. All of these features here, George, are in the, um, uh, the basic except for, uh, uh, yeah, everything that you see here is in the basic. Okay. Um, what you get in the advanced, let me show you. I mean, also this, this, um, sub chart here, uh, you also get in the, um, uh, in the basic. Okay. This, this sub chart is showing the cumulative volume delta. All right. The um, what uh, you get though with the uh, the advanced package um, is uh, all of these add-on indicators. Like you can see this little number here. Okay, the green number. This is showing me hidden liquidity. Okay, this is the iceberg detector. This white line here, actually, that that actually comes with the um, book map advanced as well. Is and I'm sorry, so that wasn't correct. Uh, the little white line here is showing large lot tracker. So larger players providing um, a substantial amount of liquidity at some of these levels. And these um, uh, order book and balance uh, indicators up here, book and volume and balance. Okay. All of those are part of the uh, book map advanced, uh, as well as the one-click trading, okay, being able to trade from the book map chart. Right. This is a, a significant advantage uh, because uh, you can start to place your orders uh, within the liquidity heat map. So if you wanted to uh, be a buyer in front of these guys, uh, you know, then uh, you can just move your order right there, okay? And this is going to help you get filled before they get filled, right? Or let's say this is your your uh, your stop, okay? You can place your stop below areas of high liquidity, so they have to trade through these guys first to get to your orders, all right? So anyway, all sorts of good stuff uh, with the uh, one-click trading and some of the other add-ons. All right. Well, uh, let's call it a day. We'll wrap it up. And uh, if you're registered for the uh, for the next webinar, I'll see you there. Okay. Thanks. Take care.